if she thinks she's skiving off school, she's got another thing coming. She'll be done, don't worry. She's just showing her teeth, that's all. Oh, well, I don't want to see them, thank you very much. I've got enough of her packing you up, getting myself off to work without pandering to her moods. It's probably her hormones. You know what girls her age are like. Yeah, I do. I was one. Remember? All I'm saying is we should just maybe give her a bit of room, that's all. Oh, you are so gullible, you. I hope I'm understanding. You know what this is about, don't you? Huh? She doesn't want to go bowling tonight. Well, she might change her mind when she sees us ready to go. Are you are joking? OK, I'll try and persuade her. No, you do no such thing. Either she goes willingly or not at all. Come on, let's put this on. Must be a real nightmare, having to sort this mess out. Well, yeah, but uh, I'm feeling more confident now. Yeah, well, hopefully the solicitor will give you some idea where you stand this afternoon. Hope so. He didn't say much on the phone, but, uh, well, they don't, do they? Hmm. I hope it's good news. I think you deserve some, after what you've been through. Thank you. Right, we're ready. David, you gonna come and keep your dad and Beth company on the way to school? Yeah, hang on. Come on, then. All right, Dad. All right. Come on, then. Right, I'll take Right. Good luck with the brief. Toodles. Go Thanks. On, <laughs> Do you know our kit is still in the pit? Yes, thank you, Craig. We know. She's not feeling too well. Does that mean she's not going to school? Possibly. <sighs> but she's fit enough when it comes to bowling tonight. Oh, well, that's where you're wrong, innit? Because she don't want to go. So are we going to get two teams together if she cops out? Maybe you should ask David Platt if he wants to go. David Platt? Yeah, it might be a nice thing to do after all he's been through lately. Yeah, that's a good idea. He's a mate of yours, isn't he? Yeah, I suppose. OK, I'll ask him. See you. Sure, I'll know. See you later, mate. Hey, that was a nice thought. Might make up for her upstairs. Oh, don't worry about her. You get off to work. I'll take care of that, Katie. Sure, I'll love. See ya. What time are we meeting that bloke? Uh, just after dinner. Where are you going now? To the health centre. I saw it wrong. No, to tell him I'll start back at work tomorrow. Well, Mum, do you think you're ready to face everyone yes, yet? Yes, I'm fine. Anyway, I think we're going to need all the money we can get our hands on over the next few months. Yeah, we well, won't go out just yet. Why not? Vera, don't want having another go at you. She's every right to be angry. They lost a lot of money because of Richard. Yeah, well, nothing to what you lost. Um, Sarah, you are still coming back to school, aren't you? Oh, no, I just dress like this because I like it. Hey, you look nice, whatever you're dressing. Thank you. Well, don't worry about coming back. You won't get any hassle, I'll make sure of that. Right, good luck this afternoon, Mum. See ya. Hey. Bye. Bye. What are you doing? Get to work, you're going to be late. Mm. What do you mean you don't like all this attention? Karen, it's half past eight in the morning. Mm. So, that's never bothered you before. Look, will you give over? What's going to you? Oh, nice. Oh, I can see I'm wasting my time. You don't want to go work, do you? No, it works fine. So this uh, little spat with Baldwin hasn't put you off, then? Mm, yeah, maybe at the time. But I've been thinking about it, and maybe it was right. Excuse me? Yeah, well, maybe I should be a little bit more professional if I want to get on. Where's this mouthy woman I married for a bet? That is the best bet you ever made, mate. And I'm going to go to work like a good little girl and further my career. I'll give you till dinner time. It's all right, love. There's no tin. Have looped. Are you sure? Yeah, I've been through them all. Looks like they're getting bored with you. Well, that's a blessing. Mm. Then it'll be some other poor devil's turn for a day or two, and then someone else's. What a way to earn your living, mm. eh? Rummage you through people's lives. People like to hear about other folks' misfortunes. It makes them feel safe. Nobody's safe. I know that. Oh, I said to Archie, I saw you come out of the health centre. You all right? Yes, I'm fine. I popped in to say I'd start work tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> I said she was worrying over nothing, but she would come over and check up. Oh, Ma'am, that is nice of you, but you can go back to work. I'm fine. Look, I'm just about to put the kettle on. Do you fancy a copper? Uh, yeah, OK, but it'd have to be a quick one. I'm popping into town to see the solicitor, oh. see what the score is. I'm sure everything will be fine. <sighs> I don't suppose you've had any word from that husband of yours, have you? Why would I do that? Well, he is your husband. I don't need you to remind me of that. No, of course she doesn't. I don't know what you're thinking of asking such a stupid question. Well, I, I don't want to upset you. I didn't mean to be offensive. It was... Didn't you? Oh, come on, let's get you out of here, my darling. Well, what am I supposed to have said? I think you know exactly what you said. No, that's what I said. Oh, <laughs> oh hello. 
We thought you were on detention, otherwise we'd have got your fine tent. Oh, shut up, Janice. I'm sure Baldwin's forgotten what happened yesterday. Fine. Well, I haven't. It's not so often, is it? You see a prefect get a relic in, as I remember. Mm. So long since you've been at school, I'm surprised you do remember. No, no, no. I can remember everything, me. And we used to go behind bike sheds for a quick uh, sick with my me mates. <laughs> Meeting uh, Harry Flashman, back of them tennis courts. <laughs> Teachers on your case every five minutes. Uh, a bit like working for Baldwin, eh? <laughs> well, yeah, except you didn't get paid. You don't flaming well get paid there, either. Well, not so you notice, anyway. Well, let's uh, work a bit harder and then we can sell some more, yeah? What? <laughs> and Baldwin's going to share all his profits with us, is he? <coughs> oh, hey, oh. Oh, hello, Mr Baldwin. Just in time to buy us a nice big pint. <laughs> I'm already paying you to do nothing for an hour. Isn't that good enough? Uh, we are entitled to a dinner break, aren't we? Well, in my time, you were lucky to get one, let alone be paid for it. Uh, last got you in a pint when I got a minute, please, Harry. That was our Sharon. She's still in the hospital. Is she all right? They're doing some sort of investigation. I'm going to stick a camera down her throat and see what's in her stomach. I know, love, but it's for the best, isn't it? Because you'll know more after that. Yeah, I want to be there, Peter. Mm. Oh, you are OK with everything now? Oh, yeah, sure, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Harry, just keep your eye on this lot. Listen, Michelle, you go and pack your bag and I'll give you a lift to the station. <sighs> Is everything all right? Oh, Shelley's sister's not very well. She's in hospital at the minute. Uh, just excuse me a minute. Yeah. Hi, Luce, it's me. Uh, listen, Shelley's away tonight. Yeah, she's at her sister's, so uh, I'll see you later. Can I have a word, Mr Baldwin? It's my lunch hour as well, you know. Yeah, I know, but I really need to talk to you. And, um, well, I don't want to do that while you pay me to sell knickers now, do I? Oh, ten out of ten for approach. And um, I was just wondering, how do you think I'm doing at being a supervisor? What do you mean, apart from your little excitable moments? Yeah, yeah, I need to apologise about that. But, you know, I've got the girls working and productivity's up since I took it on. Is this a roundabout way of asking for a rise? No, 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 nothing like that. I just wondered if there was any chance of me being a little bit more involved with the customers, because I'm good with people, particularly men, and, um, well, I think it'd be better for the company if you just give me a chance. Karen, you're not a bad supervisor. Right, right, so I'm good. Well, sometimes, yeah, but like I tell all my employees, stick with what you're good at. I don't mean to be pushy, Mr Baldwin, but doesn't everyone deserve a chance to better themselves? Absolutely! And if I give you your chance, I'll have all your mates queuing up outside my door a mile long wanting theirs. And who'll be doing the sewing? Come in. Look, I'm, uh, I'm really sorry to hear about your troubles. Thank you. I just hope things aren't too bad for you. Well, funnily enough, I'm just about to find out. I'm, I'm on my way to see the solicitor now. Oh. Look, I do know what you're going through, um, so I know you don't want to hear a load of empty words, so I just pop round to see if uh, if your David wants to come bowling with us after school tonight. Bowling? Yeah, I thought it might be a nice thing for him to do. Our Craig's going to ask him at school. Well, that's really kind of you. Thank you. I'm sure he'd love to go. Great. Right, well, we'll pick him up when we're ready. All right. Yeah, just let me give you some money, just in case I'm not back in time. N no, no, I wouldn't hear of it. It's our treat, so... That's very generous, thank you. Right, uh, it's no problem. I'll get off then. <laughs> yeah, I'll come with you. All right. So you really meant it when you said I'd have the last say when it came to running this factory? If I hadn't have meant it, I wouldn't have said it. OK, fine. Why'd you ask? Because I intend to give someone a break. <laughs> Not Karen McDonald by any chance. Actually, yeah. I reckon she's got real potential. You think she's got great legs? No. I think she could be a real asset to this company if we let her. What is this? A conspiracy? What do you mean? Well, first of all, she's pleading her case in the pub. Now you're giving me the hard sell. Yeah, only because I think she can do it. Joe, take my advice. Steer clear of her. She's nothing but trouble. Well, if you're right, it's my problem, innit? Not yours. All right. Your decision. But don't say I didn't warn you when everything goes pear-shaped. So, what's your ice score, then? You know, I'm pretty good, actually. Oh. It's been ages since Alice went bowling. It'd be great, though. All right, fantastic. 
So, are we coming in to wait for you or what? Well, I'll just get changed and then I'll come round your place after. Alright. We'll watch a bit of telly till my mum gets in from work then. Alright, sorted. See ya. See ya. Can I have a word? Can I stop you? In private. What have I done now? Nothing. Today. I was wondering when you'd bring that up. Yeah, well, if you want to get ahead, you've got to learn a battle. Well, I've got no chance ever with Baldwin. Yeah, well, about that, I wanted to apologise for the way he spoke to you in the pub. But he didn't tell you to say that. No. But I'm going to say it anyway. Right, thanks. Hang on. <sighs> Finished yet? Well, there's nothing else to say, is there? Cos he thinks I'm a waste of space, so that's it. No, it's not. What are you doing tonight? Is that a proposition? <laughs> Could be. How do you fancy dinner? I'm a married woman, Joe. Who works for me? And I need you to come and meet a client. Are you kidding? No, I'm serious. I want you to go home, get dressed, look your absolute best and come on a business meet with me tonight. What about Mike? Forget Mike. Do you want to come or not? Yeah, just try and stop me. Good. Well, it'll be a valuable experience for you and I know you won't let me down. No, I won't. Uh, thanks. And um, you're not going to regret this, I promise. Just seen your dad. He'll be stuck at work for another hour. Oh, no. No, it's OK. We'll go and get a burger while we're waiting. He can chase us up when he's finished. I hope he's not too long. Have you asked David to come? Yep. He said he'll be over when he's changed. Right, you go and chase him up while I get ready. OK. So, are you coming or what? No, I'm too tired. Girls your age should be tired. I told you, I don't feel great. I shouldn't have listened to Dad and gone to school. It's worn me out. David! David, are you in there? Celebrating. You've heard of yet? I heard that Borden had blown you up by dinner time, yes. Blow me out? I mean, you won't be able to keep a lid on it. So much for the uh, professional touch. Who have you been talking to? Oh, I've got eyes and ears everywhere, me sweetheart. Pour us a glass of little Johnny Sorrows. No, I haven't got time. I've got a bit of business to do. A bit of business, eh? Yeah, you've got a problem with that. <laughs> Come off it, Karen. We both know the only place you're going to go tonight is the Chippy for a takeaway. Well, it's a good job you don't earn your living as a clairvoyant. I could predict your future in two words. No chance. Well, then you'd be wrong, wouldn't you? Cos I'm going out tonight with a very important client for dinner and I'm going to go and make myself look beautiful and impress the hell out of him. Oh, come on, Karen, drop the act. It gives you a glass. All this storytelling must be thirsty work. I wouldn't bother, not unless you're going to drink it yourself. <laughs> Karen, you're not going out for dinner. Watch me. Hang on, are you going out for dinner? Penny finally dropped, has it? Are you serious, aren't you? Yeah, I told you I could do it, Steve. So you're really going to go and see one of Baldwin's clients? Yes, really. On your own? No, Joe will be there. And Baldwin? Don't know about that. Enjoy your takeaway. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be at work. Taking a break. Yeah, well, you won't be in a pub tonight, will you, ma'am? Why? You're meeting someone special. No. Look, have you seen my best black shirt anywhere? Yeah, it's with everything else waiting to be ironed. Yeah, but, Mum, that's me decent one. I need that. Yeah, well, you know where the iron is. Yeah, well, you do so much better than me. Oh. Now there's a surprise. No, I'm not just saying that, Mum. I do honestly mean it. Well, it's really nice to be appreciated for the important talents in life. Oh, go on, Mum. Go on yourself. I'm reading the paper. You've had all day to do your ironing. Oh, well, thanks very much. Hey, you must really fancy her if you're wearing your best black shirt. Oh. Yeah, well, maybe I do. Anyone we know? No. Mm. Well, uh, if it's going to get serious, you know, just be really nice to her, then uh, 
She might iron your shirt for you next time. Do you want to try again? Oh, I told you, he's not there. I knocked and ran for ages. He did say he was coming, though, didn't he? Yeah. I don't understand it. Martin might have popped in. We just take him out quite a lot. Well, do you want to go and try one last time? Not really. If you wanted to come, he'd have been here. OK, then. It's just me and you. I hope your dad's not working till midnight. Come on, get some welly. She's asleep. Yeah. So, uh, maybe we could go in and, you know... Um, no, I don't think so. My mum will be back any minute. Yeah, we'll keep an ear open. No, I'd still, I'd rather not. OK, if that's what you want. Look, it's not that I don't want to. It's just I think there'll be a better time, OK? Yeah. Shh. And I promise I will make it up to you. OK, I look <laughs> forward to that. <laughs> I really don't want to go with you. No. Todd! OK, OK. See you later. Yeah, OK. Bethany! Don't even think about it. Say absolutely nothing. Richard! Don't upset her, do we? She's peaceful, don't you think? Please, let me have her. What's the matter? Don't you trust me? Of course I trust you. It's just... Well, she might start to wonder. Who I am? I think she remembers who I am, don't you? All the same, I'd rather I had her. Can't do that, I'm afraid. Please, Richard, give her to me! Sorry. Please, don't hurt her. Just please don't hurt her. Roger, why would I do that? What do you think I am? I love her. I love you both. Now... Nothing's going to happen to either of you, as long as you do exactly what I say. Good boy. Months later, but I discovered that. Hi. Ah, Thought I might find you here. Uh, you're not suggesting we make a habit of this, I hope. <laughs> well, the salon was shut, no lights on at home, and Archie's car outside, so I thought we would be here. Oh, <laughs> maybe I'd better park it round the back. I'll, I'll be getting the pair of us a bad name. <laughs> well, you'd be better off getting me a drink, because I could do with one the afternoon either. Uh, what is it? A white wine? Be lovely. Yeah, a white wine. Really. How'd you get on with your solicitor? Not bad news, I hope. Well, he wouldn't commit, but he has stayed with the case, so I suppose I must have one. Really? Yeah, but I've got to convince them that I didn't know what Richard was up to or how far it had gone. Well, of course you didn't know what he was up to. I mean, I can vouch for that. Now, I don't think Vera Duckworth would agree with you. It's not the likes of Vera Duckworth you've got to convince. Thank the Lord for that. Anyway, the good thing is the solicitor just taking all the paperwork off me, so he's going to take care of it all. Oh, so that's a great weight off your mind. Yeah, you say that again. Ah, thanks, Harry. Here we are, then. Get that down. It's starting to feel like a celebration already. I hope so. Yeah, so just sit back and enjoy the rest. Oh! Can't stay too long. Sarah and Beth will be back in a minute, and their tea's in that shopping. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Cheers, my darling. So this house is a total shambles. Builders ripped a couple of walls down, the plumbers under the floorboards, the plasterers going mad because somebody's used his bucket to dump rubbish. I'm practically hanging myself trying to rewire the place. Then there's this whoosh, and the chippy's head comes straight up. Someone's opened a beer, he says. And sure enough, there's this dead tasty woman sitting at the top of the garden, next to nothing on, sunning herself with a bottle of lager in her hand. Oh, get out of it. Yeah. Really? She's the owner's wife come to uh, check up on work in progress. <laughs> oh, yeah. And dead tasty she is, <laughs> I can tell you. So, you meet plenty of girls, then? Hey, you meet them all in this job, son. Especially when you're here one day and there the next. You know, job to job. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah, well, I wouldn't swap it. So that's why I never see you, cos you're always travelling around so much. Well, that and Merle. You know, my girlfriend. You saw me within here. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry I've been out of touch for a bit, but jobs come up and I've got to take them. It's been over two years since I saw you. Has it really? Two years? Where did they go? Dad, the last time I heard from you was my 18th birthday. Except it wasn't. You got me age wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. But well, I'm sorry about that. But I had this new girlfriend on the go. I'm not the ideal bloke to have for a dad, am I? Well, you're different, I suppose. Look, 
I really regretted your birthday, getting it wrong. I mean, seriously, I was a bit gutted. But that's me, innit? Unreliable. Not really the settling down type. I suppose it must be. Hey, but I'm here now, aren't I? And we're having a good time. <laughs> yeah, we are. So how about nipping into town for the rest of the night? I mean, we don't want your man popping in, finding us together on the way home from work, do we? Oh, really? Um, Shelley's gone to stay at my mum's for a couple of days and I, I might have to nip out later, you know, a bit of business. All there's something to do, eh? Oh, yeah, there's always something to keep you on your toes, isn't there? Time no see. What are you doing? What do you want? Well, to see you again. I've missed you. No, don't come near me. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. I can see this has come as a bit of a surprise. Why have you come? I live here. You're my wife. Not anymore. Not after what you've done. Oh, yes. Till death does part, remember? Richard, just leave now. Just go now. And I swear I won't say anything to anybody. Why would I want to go? Well, this is my home. It's where you are. It's where the children are. My family, I, I want to be with them. They're not here. David's with his mates. Sarah and Beth are with Todd. It's just me. So leave now, Richard, and I'll forget I ever saw you. Nice try. It's true. David's been home an hour and the girls just beat you to it. So where are they? There's nothing for you to worry about. Oh, my God! It's all right. Where are they? Where are they, Richard? Tell me, please! What have you done to them? <laughs> 